The hunt for the serial bank robber who has the FBI stumped. They are seeking the public's help in tracking down this man, the so-called I-55 bandit. The man believed to have robbed 10 banks in five states, starting in the St. Louis area. ABC's Alex Perez has the story. This morning, authorities across the country are on the hunt for this serial bank robber. His disguise similar in almost every heist, a hat and a pair of dark glasses. It's more rare when the bank robber goes across the country in different states. The FBI has dubbed him the I-55 bandit because he initially targeted banks along the I-55 corridor near St. Louis, like this commerce bank in Arnold, Missouri. His spree has now spread from Missouri to Illinois to Maryland, West Virginia, and now to Tennessee, where he's struck three banks in the last 30 days. In all, he's hit up 10 banks in the last three months and attempting to rob at least two others. The more often a bank robber commits a crime or commits a bank robbery, chances are they'll get caught because they leave behind more clues. His M.O. nearly the same in each case, calmly walking into the bank wearing a disguise, implying he's armed, then handing the teller a note demanding money. Whatever the instructions may be by the bad guy, they're instructed to follow. The I-55 bandit is described as a white male in his early to mid-20s, about six foot to six foot three inches tall, thin, with brown or strawberry blonde hair. Investigators are hoping the public will help nab him, placing this digital ad on billboards across the country. They want to put an end to his robbery road trip before he strikes again. For Good Morning America, Alex Perez, ABC News, Chicago.